So you've probably heard the quote, with great power comes great responsibility. Uh, and that is so true when it comes to trimming your beard with a set of trimmers or clippers. Uh, and especially understanding how um, the guards work when it comes to trimming your beard. And it's not uh, a technique that uh, even most uh, stylists and barbers use unless they're using it specifically for your beard. So I want to try to make sure you guys understand a little bit more about that so you don't have any accidents. I've had a couple of guys that say, hey, I think I messed my beard up or they, they had a, a trimming mistake. Um, I've heard that several times. I think what they're doing is not really understanding um, the styling or the trimming techniques with beard trimmers and understanding how the guards work. So we're going to get into that. Welcome guys. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And I did a, a, a nice trim last week. I posted the video for that. No talking. Got some nice relaxing music. You can see how I uh, shape my beard. Uh, by the way, we are also going to be giving away a set of these Brio Beardscape version 2s. So make sure you are subscribed and check out my 2000 subscriber video. As soon as we hit that mark, we're going to be giving those away. So there are three ways that's the most common to control like flyaways and the uh, uh, you know the width of your beard and what's happening here on the this outer portion of your beard. Right. One of them is through products, your beard balm, your oil, butters, waxes, all of that stuff. Uh, another one is using heat as part of your routine. That's going to help straighten it, lay it down a little bit more. And the third one is by trimming the shape into your beard, the hedge trimming, if you will, um, which I usually do. And when you do that technique, you actually most of the time you use some sort of um, guard on it and you actually go with the grain of your beard. So you're going straight down, not up. Uh, unless you're just doing the top of the uh, top here. So most barbers or stylists don't use the technique at all on your head hair. I've never seen anybody really use that technique where you're going with the grain because they will be going down. You're not going to really catch a whole lot. So the idea uh, when, when you're like fading out your hair is you're just going across and everywhere you want your uh, hair to be about six millimeters long. You use the guard and you kind of go around and uh, you, you keep changing the length of the guards and uh, getting it either uh, longer or shorter as you fade up or down. Depends on the technique that the barber is using. Um, very rarely, or I don't think I've ever seen where they're going down. Now, that's what you want to do on your beard is actually go with the grain. So you want to go down towards the ground instead of up. And what's that's going to do if we understand how these guards work. So this right now, this is a six millimeter guard. Uh, and then there's a one millimeter barrier here uh, that's between the ceramic blade and the uh, the edge of the trimmer. So, so you're not cutting into your skin or anything like that. So it's a little bit of a barrier. So that's seven millimeters. All right. So what you're doing when you're going down is you're getting a seven millimeter barrier. So no uh, hair that's sticking out from your the sides of your head here that's more than seven millimeters is going to get cut. So it's, it's kind of a way to uh, taper. Uh, if you will, but it's also going to look a little more natural because theoretically, if you had a hair that's tight right against your face, you could have a hair that's this long and you could use the guard and you're going straight down with it. It's not going to cut that hair. Now, it would if you start to actually follow the whole shape of your face and you come all the way under your chin, it's going to cut off all the ones at the bottom, obviously. But if you're just going straight down, it's just going to use that as a barrier. Whereas if you're going up, you are cutting every single hair to the same length, in this case, seven millimeters, which is, uh, let's see if I can show you here, that long, okay, which is really, really uh, short. You don't want your beard that short, most people, unless you're going for the scruff look, because that's what you'll have if you go over your, your whole beard. Even if you use the longest, you think this is really long, or you'll look at hair uh, clippers and the guards on that are even longer. I kind of showed, I uh, did a video where I compared this one to a set of wall hair, hair clippers and the way the guards are different. Really surprising. But the biggest one on here is 18 millimeters. So you can put the 18 millimeter guard on, plus you slide this all the way out to 1.9. So that would be 19.9, which is right at two centimeters, which is that long. Okay. Which is about the width of, width of my finger, right? It's about the width of my finger. So if you were to use the longest guard and go over your entire face, uh, it's going to be the same length as the width of your finger. 
Okay. And if that's looking for going for, that's great. Uh, you know, I've done some pretty severe, uh, drastic moves with my beard, uh, over the years. I haven't gone quite that short. I don't think I have, I've gone underneath my beard that way. So I've had like the length down here to be that short, but I've always wanted to be a little fuller in here. So you don't ever, if you're trying to go for any length or keep a certain style, you don't want to go against the grain. Uh, e even with the longest guard up through here, it's going to make it really, really short, probably shorter than what you want. All right. So you need to be especially careful with those clipper guards and understand the difference between going down with the hedge trimming and going up. All right. So you'll see what I did on my video was I think I had like a six guard on. So I'll just put the six guard on. And I had grown my beard out for three months, trying out some different uh, supplements, biotin and collagen and that kind of stuff. So it was going to uh, put the six on and it becomes a barrier here. So just keep it starts to taper this a little bit. But if you go straight down, it's going to kind of give you this particular shape and anything outside of that region, it's going to cut. The only issue that with that becomes is when you're using the guard and you're actually getting it into your beard hair, especially mine, my hair starts to stick to this and it kind of spreads out your hair and pushes it around a little bit. So I usually do that for my first pass. I'll comb it all out and then I will, maybe it's more of a pro move, I don't know. I'll, I'll skim the face of my beard with no guard on it. And that just to me gets it a little bit, a little bit tighter, a little bit more of a styled look that I'm going for. And if you're going for a natural look, you probably want to, you don't want to do anything to this. If you're in a growing phase, you're not sure what you want. Uh, you don't want to do anything to these areas and maybe just only trim from the bottom for a transparency trim, right? So let me know uh, and, and be honest, guys. Has anybody ever had a, a kind of a major trimming uh, accident with the guards? Maybe you went the wrong direction and took out a big chunk um, by mistake. I, several guys have shown me that. Uh, I've told me that. I seen I've seen one that posted on Instagram and I tried to help him, but he went he went the wrong direction right in here. Uh, I think he was getting ready for a, a, an event too. I don't remember if it was a wedding he had to go to or what. And it's like, I believe I've messed my beard up. Can, can anybody help me? So we, we had to try to taper. We actually went a little bit shorter right above it. Uh, instead of all of this being that one short length, tried to give them a little bit more of a tapered look. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. A little food for thought there. Be careful. Trim responsibly, guys. We'll be seeing you soon.